Hey, what's happening, everybody? Rod J back again, taking a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one tonight from out of uh, Frankenmuth, Michigan. This is actually from the Frankenmuth Brewery. It is the Batch 69 American IPA. So I had some friends that went up there recently. They actually visited a few breweries and they brought me some beers back to check out. So definitely appreciate that. And this is one of those little local breweries you wouldn't really know about unless you got up there. If you are up in the Frankenmuth area, apparently they have some pretty good beers there. And I'll be getting some more reviews out on some of the other ones they brought back to me. So uh, maybe a brewery you want to check out. So this comes in at 6.9% ABV. Comes in at 69 IBU. So they're big on that 69 number. And it has an SRM of 5.3. And if you're familiar with beer, that actually is attached to the color of the beer, which you'll see here in a second. So with IPAs, just like most of the ones that are out there, they kind of give you the hints of the food pairings. Pretty much stays the same. Steaks, burgers, chili, spicy dishes, tomato-based dishes, all good types of things you can actually pair with an IPA, especially the one being uh, listed here that I'm going to discuss. And also, this beer ended up winning the 2015 World Expo of Beer for the IPA category. It was a gold medal winner. So, Batch 69 American IPA. Went ahead and got that into the glass already. Came out with a nice white head on it that was pretty much to the rim. So, a nice two to three finger head. Now, you can already see it's starting to break down and leave some lacing behind. Has a lot of uh, rockiness taking place. So, very nice there. Nice kind of golden, pale gold with yellow type color I guess you can say it has a lot of haziness on it so I'm not seeing through to the other side it's pretty much like a cloudy type experience when you get it out of the light it darkens a little bit more so you're still not seeing through it along those lines so you're not going to have the clarity on this usually don't on a lot of the ones that are done by the local breweries which is fine it's not going to be like a mass produced type beer as far as anything else with it looks decent enough i couldn't get any of the bubble action as much from the light but we know carbonation is working in there nice aroma comes off of it what you get hit with first is that pine and that dankness i do pick up some of those uh, citrus type notes from the hops as well it didn't list what hops they actually used here i also looked on the website did not see that out there but I'm going to think it's going to probably be that standard fare of hops. Kind of get a little bit of that grapefruit type of aroma as well. So not as heavy on things like tangerine like some of the other ones I've had recently. But you do get the grapefruit. You do get some of the other citrus type notes. Maybe like a little bit of an orange or a lemony type thing in the background as far as the taste. So up front I get hit with a good amount of bitterness. Not heavy at all nice burst of the flavor in the mouth but really quickly it has like a nice crisp break to it texture is nice and dry you get some of the tingling sensation up into the cheeks it gets off the tongue very nicely carbonation sits very well not too over carbonated at all now i will say on the duration of the finish duration is probably about a nice average duration but I'm not getting a lot of the flavors kicking around like I've had on so many other IPAs it's there but it's a little more subtle which isn't bad in itself it's just not as heavy as some of the other things where you have a little bit more of that citrusy type flavor still kicking around for a little bit longer as far as the body sits to me is a nice medium body you hold it and you really get a nice imprint of those hops on the tongue bitterness really hits there but I like on the back there's not an aftertaste effect so it's not any lingering it doesn't have like that medicine type taste anything along those lines very clean refreshing finish on the back end which is nice and again now you can see the lacing taking place on the glass all in all very nice beer um, comes together very nicely as far as the style assessment hits the category for what you will want to have like on that IPA type area very nice representation of an IPA from Frankenmuth Brewery. This is the first one I've actually had for them. Looking forward to the other ones. And again, this is the Bat 69. 69 IBU, 6.9% ABV. If you happen to see it out there, check it out. If you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done that as of yet. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. With that all being said, keep drinking good craft beers and cheers.